Oh, they need a minute? Okay. Let the record show that I'm not holding anybody up because they need the minute. Good morning and welcome to the New York City Council vote of the Committee on Environmental Protection, Resiliency, and Water Funds. At this time, can everybody please silence your cell phones? Thank you for your cooperation. Chair, we are ready to begin. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Good morning, I'm Councilman Jim Gennaro, Chair of the Committee on Environmental Protection, Resiliency, and Waterfronts. Today we'll vote on a package of noise bills sponsored by myself and the Majority Leader, uh, Keith Powers, um, and those bills are Intro 774 in relation to construction noise, Intro 775 and 776 in relation to the results of noise inspections, and Intro 778 in relation to establishing a photo noise violation monitoring device program or noise camera program for motor vehicles. That uh, majority leader of ours is a, is, a, is a legislation machine. So that wasn't in my notes, I just said that. Okay, uh, and sponsored by me is intro 1194 in relation to the compensation awarded in certain citizen noise complaint proceedings. We first considered these bills on October 16th of this year. New York City must balance the cultural and economic vibrancy of being a world-class city with the needs of everyday New Yorkers who live, work, and sleep here. To that end, New Yorkers can file noise complaints via the city's 311 system and for certain violations through the city's citizen complaint program. While engaged New Yorkers play an important role in enforcing our city's noise code, we also need to make sure that residents and businesses aren't unfairly targeted. The package of bills will make it, this package of bills will make it easier for New Yorkers to request uh, noise related to construction inspections, view the results of 311 noise inspections, enhance enforcement of motor vehicle noise violations, and make sure that the focus of the citizen complaint program remains on quality of life and not personal profit. Intro 1194, which I sponsored, would cap the compensation civilian enforcers can receive when their complaint prompts proceedings under subdivision B of section 24-244 of the noise code at $5 for proceedings brought by DEP and $10 for proceedings an enforcer brings themselves. For citizen complaint proceedings currently pending when this bill takes effect, the maximum penalty for a violation of that subdivision would be capped at $50. Those are for the, those are for the violations that are in the pipeline right now. This, this would greatly reduce the financial incentive for civilians to file multiple uh, complaints against businesses for the purposes of collecting the award money and would allow DEP noise inspectors to focus on improving the quality of life for all New Yorkers. I will also vote the following bills sponsored by Majority Leader Powers. Didn't we just do this? Did I read it again? <clears throat> no, we didn't really talk about it. We just mentioned the numbers, right? This is all on the record for people to hear. Okay. Uh, intro 774 by Councilmember Powers, which would require DEP to measure the volume of certain types of construction noise from within dwelling units upon request of an owner, lessor, or occupant. Intro 775, which would mandate that DEP publish the results of their noise inspections online within five business days after they have been completed. Intro 776, which would require DEP and NYPD to give a copy of a noise report created pursuant to a 311 noise complaint to anyone who requests the report and provides the 311 tracking number within 14 days of receipt of the request. And Intro 778, which would establish a noise camera program to detect motor vehicles in violation of the noise code. Um, vehicles found to be in violation are subject to the civil penalty as prescribed by law. The bill would require DEP to ensure that uh, there, um, the, DEP the bill would require DEP to ensure that there, I guess are, not in here, but I'm putting it in, are no less than five noise cameras per borough subject to appropriation uh, and also consider input from elected officials and community boards in selecting locations for the noise camera uh, and to report th uh, on the program annually. I'd like to thank the terrific committee staff who've done great work over the years. Committee Council Samara Swanston, 
her last, her, her last hurrah here today. She'll be retiring. And yeah, yeah, yeah. How many years have you been here, Samara? 15 years. 15 years. 15 years. I'm just banging out some banks, the celebratory noise. Not to quiet people down. No, no, no. This was just a, yeah, this is just, yeah. We should also give a round of applause, too, more round of applause for Samara. Samara. Yeah. 15 years, my God. We, yeah, we've been together a long time, back before when I was here. Um, so we covered Samara, although not nearly enough. We'll do more on the floor later. Uh, and, uh, uh, and also, uh, uh, Council Claire McLaughlin, who does great work. So, yes, Claire. You don't get the gavel, Claire. You get this. You get this. Policy analyst Ricky Chawla and Andrew Bourne, great guys, great people. <laughs> Financial analyst Angelaine Lawness and Tavir Singh. And finally, my own legislative director, uh, uh, Nabi Kaur the Great, for all of her hard work. I'd like to read. <laughs> and I'd like to, re oh, I recognize the following council members who have joined us today. Here we go with a piece of paper. Councilmember Holden, Councilmember Nurse, Hanks, Ressler, Gutierrez, and somebody's on Zoom, and Julie Menon, uh, Councilmember Julie Menon is on Zoom. And um, yeah, it, this is kind of a bittersweet moment for, uh, for me and I think for the council as a body to you know, have Samara you know, for as long as we've been privileged to have her and her, and her great work. And, her work doesn't just extend to New York City. People have heard of the Pine Barrens in, in, in Long Island, a you know, critical ecosystem. Uh, she's given a lot of her time and talent to making sure that you know, critical ecosystem that a lot of people you know, know about but don't do much about. But, um, and uh, all the things that she's done on the environment in her, you know, uh, in her you know, great career reads like the screenplay of a major motion picture. And, um, uh, we all wish her well as she moves on to her next venture in life. Uh, but she's a, you know, a, a, a dear friend, and that um, and will always uh, and, and and that will always be the case. We're probably supposed to vote or something, right? Is that, that that's on the okay. And so um, yeah, let's not forget why we're sort of all here, other than other than to laud Samara. And so uh, so first priority was to laud Samara. We did that. And so this other vote thing we should probably just do, you know. Um, so I will now ask the clerk to call the roll. The chair recommends a yes vote on all these good items. Billy. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk. Roll call vote, committee on environmental protection, resiliency, and waterfronts. All items are coupled. Chair Gennaro. Aye. Holden. Aye. Gutierrez. Aye. Hanks. Aye. Menon. Aye. Thank you. Nurse. I vote aye. Wrestler. Aye. With a vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee, and Mr. Chair, that is a full committee. And I'm going to let Samara gavel out the hearing. Go ahead, yeah. the, the vote. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>